Hello Sumo fans and welcome back to another episode of the Sumo News right here on World of Sumo. I know what you're thinking, for a guy who says he isn't doing much news over the basho, seems to be popping back up a lot with news. <laughs> well that's just because things keep happening as we reach the halfway point of the Nagoya basho, especially today, the day I'm making this video, day 8. Before we get to that, I would actually like to take a minute to say a hello and thank my new wee best buddies, Colin, Ethan, and who I assume is the boss of the family, Eliana, who hail from Texas. Hey guys, your awesome dad reached out to me to let me know you are all big supporters of World of Sumo and get hyped for my videos coming out. I'm more surprised you seem to be able to understand my accent, to be honest, so well done on that, but thank you so much for the support. You three have made my day, week, month, and year. Your dad told me you're all competitive gymnasts and work really hard, and I've seen some of what you can do, and I can't tell you how impressed I was. So, keep gambarizing, stay focused, and always do your style of sumo, or in this case, gymnastics. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Let's get into the news. First up, that's it for Naruto Bea as the whole hair is out due to COVID-19 as Jurio Man Oshoma has tested positive. Which means we are now also a shin pan down, along with another full hair. Don't worry guys, seven days left. We're nearly there. We can finish this basho. <laughs> okay, the reason for today's news video, outside of thanking my new buddies from Texas of course, is the mess that was the last bout on day eight between Yokozuna Terunofuji and Maigashira Ranka Wakamoto Haru, who faced a Yokozuna for the first time in his career today, which he will never forget and neither will any of us, I think. This mess was caused by a terrible Gyoji decision from Shikimori Inosuke, once again adding to his long list of mess ups on that clay Although I expect after this one, mm, he's going to definitely hear the roar of Hakaku. This could be the straw that broke the camel's back for him and his resignation of which Yoji's hand in when they make a big mistake like this. I think it might actually be accepted this time. Wakamoto Haro was fighting well and being smart in the battle that went on a couple of minutes. Just as his angle to win was perfect in my opinion and he took Terunofuji to the edge, the Gyoji was saying something and the Yokozuna began to point at him and say something back as he was brought to the edge. The referee was trying to stop the bout. It seemed that Waka's Mawashi was coming loose, although this is a legit thing to happen and they have them restart from the same spot once it's tightened when one does loosen. But this cannot happen while an offensive move is in progress, of which it was. Terra Nafuji heard the Gyoji and Wakamoto Haru did not. It was a really bad call and I do think Waka had the Yokozuna in that one. But a restart was called as if they had stopped on time to fix the Mawashi and set the Rikishi back to the same position. Even with a photograph and camera angles, the guys didn't match where they were before, I thought anyway. The bout went ahead and Terra let Waka think he was moving him back before he slipped that leg into his inner thigh, turned him around for the throw. What do you guys think? Was this a fair call? Should the Gyoji have stopped it? Should his resignation papers be accepted? Should Waka have been awarded his first Kimboshi and his first bout to a Yokozuna, of which I think he should have? Let me know in the comments below. And that's it for this episode of the Sumo News. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, like, subscribe, hit that bell. Oh, what an agate! What the hell?